Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the transmission clutch pressure switches in your car, specifically for the second, third, and fourth gear. This here is my 2002 Acura TL Type S, and the parts that I'm going to be replacing can apply to basically any Acura or Honda vehicle from 1997 to about 2009. So there are a variety of check engine light codes that can apply, uh, specifically to the second generation TLs. The 99 TL can have P1738 for the second gear and P1739 for the third gear, as well as for the 2000 to 2003, you can get P0845 for the base TL third gear, P1739 for the TLS third gear, or P1740 for the fourth gear. It's quite a lot, but nonetheless, uh, if your check engine light code comes up with a pressure switch code, this is what you might need to do to fix that error. Even other times, nothing will necessarily appear as a check engine light, but more so as a performance issue. So on my car, I don't have any check engine light codes, but my third gear does give me problems sometimes, or sometimes it just straight up won't go into gear at all. I've read on the forums that changing this part can improve shifting performance. So why don't we get started? Now we're going to go on to the possible causes. That can include low transmission fluid, a faulty wire harness, faulty electrical connection, and a faulty pressure switch. So first, we're going to check our transmission fluid level. So first thing you want to do is go for a drive, get your car up to full operating temperature, and you're gonna park it on a level surface, turn off the car, and here is our transmission fluid dipstick. And so to check the transmission fluid, we're just gonna take out the dipstick, clean it off, and then very quickly, we're gonna put it back in and take it out again. So here you can see our transmission fluid level is perfect, right at the top fill mark circle. So that is good. If your transmission fluid is low, you would want to add some transmission fluid firstly. All right, so we're going to very quickly buy some parts. We're going to come to AcuraPartsForUs.com. We're going to select our vehicle. We got a 2002 TL Type S. Come down to transmission and sensor solenoid. And then right here, this is our third gear pressure switch that I changed in this video. Comes with a washer right there. You can just switch the old one over. Don't need to buy a new one. And then here's the fourth gear solenoid right there. And then this is the 1999 TL transmission. This is a four speed. This is the third gear solenoid right here. And this is the second gear solenoid on top of the transmission. So now we can get started in replacing that part. First, we're gonna set the e-brake. Then we're gonna jack up our car, place our jack stand and take off the front driver side wheel and then where we need to get to is right here. One main difference between the newer cars and the cars from the 90s is the old cars have a four speed transmission so the third gear will still be located here but I'm pretty sure the second gear will be located on top of the transmission. Unfortunately I can't show you exactly where that might be. You'll be able to tell which pressure switch is which by a number right there that's three Follow that over, and that's the third gear pressure switch. And then a little further back, there's a four, and then that's the fourth gear pressure switch. It's the exact same process to change out both of these switches. They just screw out with the old one and in with the new. But first we gotta pull back this panel. So first there's a little clip right here. We can grab a flathead screwdriver, and we can essentially pry that out. We got that clip out, and now we have to remove those two little 10 millimeter screws, one right there and one right there. With those two screws out, you can now take that little cover and you can pull it down and out of the way. Next, we just have to remove this little black electrical connector right there. And then we can remove the switch itself. I've got some cardboard down just in case and also uh, keep in mind there is going to be a washer that goes on the threaded portion of this so I'm also just gonna be prepared to switch that over and get the new one in just in case it does leak. So here's the new pressure switch. It is a size 22 millimeter 
or you can use a 7 8 as a backup if you don't have that. You'll need either a deep socket to fit over the salon plastic part, or you can use a basic wrench, and that should be able to get it off no problem. And then you'll need to transfer the washer over to the new part. There's also a plastic cover here. We'll just kind of take that off in preparation, and we'll get the old part out now. All right, I've got my 7 8 inch wrench, so let's see if I can loosen this. Actually it came undone very easily. So and there we go. Let's see if it leaks fluid or not. I can see a little bit of fluid on the threads. Yep, it, it does want to leak a little bit, so I might have to set the camera down for this part. And so after you've got your new one hand tightened in you got the new washer on there and everything you can torque it down to 14 foot pounds if you have the tools otherwise you can just kind of snug it down by hand but just don't over tighten it because these threads are pretty small and this is an aluminum engine block after torquing that down to 14 foot pounds you can just kind of clean up any oil that's spilled you can put that little cover back on you can put that little clip back on there put your wheel back on torque those lug nuts down to 80 foot pounds and we're all finished. So as mentioned before, I myself didn't have any check engine light codes, but what I was experiencing was on occasion my car would fail to go into third gear altogether. And so after driving 3,000 miles now since replacing the solenoid pressure switch, I haven't had a single instance where my car has failed to go into third gear. So I can truly testify that this has worked for me. And if you yourself are having any particular issues with a single gear, I would highly recommend giving this a try. I just want to say thanks for checking out my video. Uh, feel free to check out the description for more information and links to parts. And also feel free to leave a comment. Again, thanks for watching and take care.